a problem that's recently occurred with iTunes. Uh, this is particularly on Windows 7, but I think it applies to other Windows as well, um, is that when you open up iTunes, it locks and it gets stuck on this sign into the iTunes store, um, or it flickers, this sign into iTunes store flickers, or you just get a box, a, a rectangular box just flicker on the uh, screen. Now, if you get this, you'll find that you can't go any further. You can't play any music. You can't do anything with it. So there's a couple of ways to get around this. The first one is to, uh, first of all, is to try and force close iTunes. Now to do this, you'll notice this button up here won't work, um, and nor will this one here. Uh, so what you have to do is move your mouse down to the bar at the bottom of the screen. Find an empty spot on the bar and click the right mouse button, that's the right mouse button. Then move your mouse up to Task Manager and click the left mouse button, that's the left mouse button. Now, you will see a Task Manager box appear. And what we need to do is we need to find in this box here, iTunes, and, and there it is, just there. Now, it does keep moving about on the screen here. Now, if you wanted to stop it from moving about, if you're using Windows 8 or Windows 10, you can click on name up the top there and it sorts the list into alphabetical order. And there we go, up the top there is iTunes. In a Windows 8 and Windows 10, should I say, uh, there's two sections, there's apps and there's background processes. I think on Windows 7 and uh, earlier, uh, you've just got one long list. So, okay, so I've found iTunes there. So I left click once on iTunes, and then I move my mouse down to end task and left click again and iTunes has closed. I can see it disappear in the background. So I left click on the uh, cross in the top right hand corner of the task manager box to close that and then try opening iTunes again and hopefully this time it will open and it should let us type in our iTunes password. Okay, so hopefully that's fixed it for you. If it hasn't, another way of doing this is to shut the computer down turn off your internet connection, so I unplug your router from the main, so all the lights go off on the router, turn the computer back on again, okay, and then launch iTunes, and normally without an internet connection, it will open. Once you've got it open, plug your router back into the mains. Um, don't forget, once you plug your router back into the mains, it could take up to five minutes for the internet to come back on, so just be patient, just leave it, and then hopefully that should be okay. The problem may reoccur, and you may need to redo either of these options, whichever worked for for you but uh, in any case I hope this video helps thanks for watching